All right, switching gears to the forecast. Let's take a live look outside right now. I wish it was sunnier out there. We had some breaks in the clouds earlier today in Greenville, but those overcast skies have uh, definitely taken over 69 degrees and cloudy in Greenville. Same story in Spartanburg sitting at 68 as well as in Anderson up in Asheville. Also seeing 69 degrees up there. Normally you get a Big temperature difference, not a big temperature difference. I shouldn't say I should say uh, a little bit of a difference in temperatures up in Asheville, but it's also uh, sitting in the upper 60s. Now down to the southwest, we've got a lot more active weather in progress down towards Mississippi, Alabama, big cluster of storms that is thankfully pushing down to the southeast and not to the east, which would normally mean if it were coming from coming from the west out of the tracking to the east, then we would get some downpours, but that's not the story for today. It's just down pushing down towards the coast. What we will see the rest of the night, just cloudy skies that will continue as those clouds further back to the west are really showing up well on satellite radar tracking over our area on Super Doppler 4 HD. It's nice and dry. We like to see that and it's going to stay dry the rest of the night tonight. Let's time it out for you. So by 1030 PM, looking at more cloudy skies overhead, you notice a little bit of specks of rain up towards the mountains. Not really expecting much from that. Uh, and into our Easter Sunday will be dry, but just kind of cloudy, maybe some patchy fog to start the day with temperatures starting off in the 50s. A little bit cool out there tomorrow morning. Then by lunchtime, we get some breaks in the clouds, more sunshine showing up by lunchtime. That's some good news. It's going to be kind of short lived, though. We have a little bit of a chance of rain going into Sunday afternoon. You see it coming in from the west. 4 4 30 in the afternoon is when we'll start to notice that in our western counties. And I'm afraid into tomorrow evening it gets more widespread, a little bit heavier by 10 30 p.m. Sunday. You notice a lot of scattered downpours over the area that will continue all night overnight with the rain really picking up Monday morning. It may turn briefly heavy at times, and again, we may get some rumbles of thunder here and there. You see it's really widespread, pretty much covering our entire area Monday morning, but luckily that will push out of here into Monday afternoon. We start to dry out and again get some breaks in the clouds heading into uh, Monday afternoon. So definitely plan on it being a wet start to the day Monday and drive with extra caution on your way to work or school on Monday. Now for tonight, recapping here for you, partly cloudy, cool and comfortable and staying dry. Lows in the upper 40s up towards the mountains, middle and upper 50s for northeast Georgia and the upstate. Look at that Easter forecast for, uh, again by hour by hour. Cloudy and cool to start. Patchy fog with temperatures in the middle 50s. Still cloudy and warmer for the Easter egg hunt and around lunchtime. And by family dinner, we may get some showers possible there with cloudy skies. Next four days looks like this. Morning downpours on Monday turning sunny and cooler in the wake of a cold front on Tuesday. We got a chilly morning ahead on Wednesday, but then it starts warming back up. We're in the middle 70s Thursday back into the 80s Friday and Saturday.